So baiting generally occurs pre-dawn on the mornings where we intend on capturing the ducks they are fed and, and set. So this allows the ducks to enter the traps and then hopefully they are unable to escape. Some days are worse than others. This morning was lovely because it wasn't windy or, or raining, but um, we um, yeah get used to the cold, that's for sure. Project focuses on four important duck species. Important because they occur here in Victoria in large numbers, and importantly, they are also being hunted. And these are the Pacific black duck, chestnut teal, gray teal, and wood duck. And we are going to put about 400 trackers on these birds over the next three years. Why three years? And that is because the environmental conditions, the weather conditions in, in Australia, they are quite erratic. You have periods of drought, you have periods of uh, a lot of rainfall, and that has a huge impact on where these animals go. The goal is to find out why ducks move and where they move to. So at the moment we have um, aerial surveys which provide us with a, an abundance estimate of game ducks in Victoria. Um, the ducks obviously are counted in Victoria but don't stay in Victoria. So we want to know where they move to and perhaps understand what the drivers of those movements are in the ecosystem. Aside from this project informing us about the movements of the ducks, it also informs us on their population dynamics, notably when they reach the end of their lives because when they reach their end of their lives the tracker stops moving. We put a, a tracker onto this uh, chestnut teal female and it's basically a solar powered uh, cellular phone. A tiny one, it only weighs 12 grams but otherwise I've got everything in it what a cell phone has. It calls us and tells us where the tracker, and thus the bird, under it, has been. And it has also accelerometers in it, so movement sensors. Um, but those movement sensors, they are so accurate that it even tells us what the bird has been up to. When it's been preening, when it's been swimming, walking, foraging, all that information on its behaviour is being recorded by this little tracker. We are taking uh, blood samples and swap samples and that is for um, diseases and also for uh, toxins. You're good to go. Learning about the movements of these birds is not only important for adaptive hunting management but also to learn for instance about disease spread. Um, we should consider that ducks are an important reservoir for avian influenza and diseases like Japanese encephalitis virus. So, so for those, for the learning about the epidemiology of those diseases, how they spread across the country, this research is of, is of importance. Apart from enabling us to understand what the impacts of, of hunting are on these species, it's also providing information that otherwise wouldn't be known. Um, so population dynamics, where these animals move to breed, uh, reasons for their movement, these are all going to be found out from this, from this project, as well as finer scale uh, behavioural patterns. Conserving and therewith also managing uh, the environment, the nature around us is of increasing importance and I hope that this work will contribute to doing that. <laughs>